Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss. I'm back again with another video. And basically today I'm making this one for all of my dudes who went out and got the Motorola Photon. All right. This is something that you need to see and something that you definitely gonna wanna drop on your phone, all right? But before I get into that, let me just talk about something else real quick. Yeah, I know I don't like to waste a lot of time with a whole bunch of bullshit, but this is something that I need to just talk about real quick. Now, there's been a lot of controversy in the last week as far as which phone is the best. You know, the Motorola Photon or the HTC Evo 3D, all right? Now, these are two phones, top of the line phones, all right? Powerhouse devices. Either one of these is a 10, either one of these, you're gonna be sitting on top of the food chain and all that. But with every competition, with every debate, there's always gotta be a winner and a loser, all right? And I'm here to tell y'all today, listen carefully, the Motorola Photon is definitely the best phone out from Sprint right now. Point blank, period, all right? Now, a lot of y'all dudes at home and all that, you know, y'all get a little bit too emotional when it comes to this phone game. You know, dudes hitting me up, cursing me out, or I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, all this shit. Yo, it's just phones, all right? I'm not making videos about your moms or your little sister and all that. You know, this is just phones, so no reason to get too emotionally attached to your phone, all right? This is not like, you know, back in the days, if you went out and you got a phone, you got the top of the line phone, you was the man for a good eight months to a year. You know what I'm saying? You sitting on the top, you good. The, the tech game changed a lot now. You know what I'm saying? You get a new phone right now, you only gonna be the man for a good three, four months. The day you buy your phone, if you go home and check the blogs, they're already working on the next model to that phone, all right? So when you get a new phone and you sit on the top, if you wanna be a man, you wanna be in this tech game, you better be ready to spend a couple of dollars because that phone ain't gonna be the top of the line you know, forever. It's only going to be the top for a few minutes. With all that said, a lot of dudes who went out and got the HTC Evo 3D, you know, what's the main reason you got the 3D? Basically, the HTC Sense, you know, that's a big selling point. A lot of people say, oh, you know, I like the Photon, but the Moto Blur, you know, Motorola Applications Platform, whatever you want to call it, they're not really feeling it. All right. So that's what a lot of people said. You know what? I'm going to go and get the HTC Evo 3D. HTC got a good reputation and all that. Yo, I understand that, all right? I, I'm, I'm with you on that. But, you know, you gotta be a realist if you're gonna be in this tech game. You gotta go into shit with an open mind, all right? Like me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been a big HTC fan from day one. Everybody's seen my Evo videos, y'all know. I thought that was the best phone out, which it was at the time. You know, and then something else came out and that's the end of the Evo, you know what I'm saying? That's, so that's it, you gotta be moving forward with this tech game. So with all that said, I'm gonna show y'all something today for this Motorola Photon that's gonna uh, change the game, all right? Now, and I know you're asking right now, you know, why do I think the Motorola Photon is better than the Evo 3D? Let me just bring up quick four points, you know what I'm saying, and then I'll show y'all what I need to show y'all, all right? First off, four things about the Evo 3D that just push it underneath the Photon, all right? First thing is the battery. All right, now yeah, that's not a big deal because you go get the extended battery and all that, but we're talking about stock out the box, the battery on the Evo just ain't cutting it. All right, that's it. It's just not cutting it. It's not gonna last you all day. People been hitting me up like, oh, mine lasts all day and all that. Yo, what, I don't know whatever you doing different than me, but if you're using Twitter and Facebook and Foursquare and you got all your refresh intervals at, you know, at a, at a short distance because you wanna get all your alerts and everything, you wanna be in the loop, that battery is not gonna last you all day. All right? Next, the camera. You know, you've seen the camera test for yourself. I'm gonna drop a couple of more that I did in the daytime up. So, you know, cause a lot of people, you know, you couldn't really see the difference at night too much, but I did a few yesterday in the daytime. So I'm gonna drop those up. The camera is not touching a Photon camera. All right, point blank, period. All right, what else? The wireless radio. Now this is important. A lot of people don't really know what that is. A lot of people don't care, but the wireless radio inside of the Evo is trash compared to the Photon. Yeah, the Photon is a world phone, you know what I'm saying? I like that because if I happen to make a move out to Tokyo or something, I want to be able to just drop my SIM card in and keep using the same phone. But the Evo is not a world phone, okay? No big deal. But still, when you're in the States, and that's why I'm at in the United States, the wireless radio is garbage. Now, don't just take my word for everything I'm saying. Go read the forums yourself. Go watch the other videos. Go watch the other comparisons. You'll see what I'm talking about, all right? And last but not least, you know, build quality, they both quality builds, but the Evo doesn't have Gorilla Glass, all right? Now, if you don't believe me, check this out. This is my Evo 3D. You gotta look close. Let me, let me dust the screen off real, real quick. Look close above the search button for yourself. All right, let me see if I could get a nice angle in the light somewhere. Okay, boom, there it goes. You see that? That's a fresh scratch, all right? So no Gorilla Glass. 
That means you're gonna have to get a screen protector and all of that, which nowadays, you know, I don't really rock screen protectors no more because it's not like back in the day when you get a phone it's gonna last you for a minute. These phones only gonna last you for a couple of months and then you gotta step up to the next phone. So I don't even bother with screen protectors anymore. And with Gorilla Glass, like on this Photon, this Photon has already been dropped, all right? No scratches at all. All right, so now that's just four points. I could go into more stuff or whatever, but take it from me. Right now at Sprint, the Motorola Photon is the top dog out, okay? Now, let me show you what I need to show you, all right? Like I said, everybody who got the Evo, the main thing you like about it, including me, is this, the Sense 3.0. You know, you like this nice, fancy lock screen. You like this also. Let me put that back up. You like the carousel. Everybody likes the 3D carousel, okay? That's what's killing it right now for the Evo. Everybody likes the Sense 3.0. Let me show you something that you need to get. Go to your Android market and download SBP Shell 3D, okay? That's SPB Shell 3D, all right? Trust me. Now, it's a little bit expensive as our applications go in the market. Y'all know most applications in there is about $2. $3. Even for some good games, you might spend $5, $6. This one's going to run you $15, all right? But trust me, worth every penny, all right? Especially if that's your main reason for getting the Evo 3D over the Photon was the Sense UI. Let me show you something, all right? Here we go. Now, you all seen Agile Lock, all right? So there we go. That, that solves the problem of the Sense 3.0 lock that you're missing on your Moto, all right? That solves that problem. Yeah, you don't have the fancy weather animation on the lock screen, but, um... You can install that if you want. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right? So we all got the Agile lock. We already know. So now we're back in the game. Now, let me show you SPB uh, 3D shell. This is what it looks like. All right? Now, you got it runs smooth. No lag at all. Now, let me show you some of the features of it. Now, these are all SPB widgets. All right? Like the calendar. So I click on calendar. Shows you your calendar and all of that. Let's click on the call log. Everything works. Take you right to your call log. Take you right to your phone. Everything works on it. All right. Now, these are customized widgets I put for people I call the most. You know what I'm saying? My shorty, my daughter, and all of that. Let me show you a, a, a good SPB widget now. Let's see what we got here. All right. Look at tools. When you click on the tools, you know, you take you right to your tools. You click on bookmarks. Right to your bookmarks, you get a nice little animation. All my bookmarks in there. Uh, photos, you know, take it to your photos. These are all regular Android widgets that I had from before. Let me see. Um, you already know what this one is, uh, the more icons. You already seen that. You can move that around if you want. All right. What else? You have a dedicated weather panel with a live weather display. So now if I say I want to click somewhere else, so if I go to Tokyo, nice and sunny out there right now, take it back to New York, live weather right there, all right? Now this is a, that's an SPB widget, okay? So now I know what you're saying. Okay, that, you know, that looks cool, nothing too fancy about that, all right? Now here's where it gets crazy, all right? Hold on to your seats right now. Everybody likes the 3D on the Evo, check this out. You see those buttons on the bottom? You got your regular dot. These are your applications. Now you get a little 3D tray with this. If you look at the top, you see it's, it's, you see it's 3D. You get a little 3D tray with that, but you see the button in the middle? Once you click on that, it takes you to your panels. Full 3D panels, all right? Now this is 3D. If you look in the back, you see my, my wallpaper in the back? This is full 3D, all right? This is a go. Now let me show you what happens if you put it on a panel. Now say I stop at a panel. Nothing on that panel. Stop at the weather. Full animations. Weather pops right in your face. All right? Shows you what's going on in your city, what's going on in your safe cities. Then keep it moving to the next panel. Now when we get to the next panel, you see I don't got no SPB widgets on there, so keep it moving. All right? Now we take it to the communications panel. You got your calendar pops up. Anything you had saved, any agenda for today?
you know, all your missed calls just came right on up. Now my home screen, no widgets on there. If you notice on the top, you can name the widgets, with the name the panels, whatever you want. Look at my communications panel, all right? All your text messages are just pop right out so you can get a quick preview. Let me just go back in there. The screen was about to dim out on me. All right, so where was we at? Text messaging, right? Everything pops right out. Nice, beautiful animation. Take it to the next panel. Oh, birthdays. You know, so I got my shorty's birthday on there. Me, I got to keep track of that because, you know, she like expensive stuff. So I got to start saving up early. You know how that go. Take it to the next one. All right. Shows you what's on that panel. Now, this is all just fancy animations. You know, nothing, fe nothing special. But trust me, if you got a Motorola Photon, this is a must have. All right. You know, some pictures and stuff. I'm just bullshitting around with the camera and all of that. Nothing fancy. All right. Take it to the next one. Same thing, but like I said, look at that. No lag at all. Fully customizable. Say I want to add another panel. Boom. I could just add another panel right up in there. You got choices. I could rename it. I could set it as my home, or I could change the color. So say I want to choose what color. Let's go with our red. So now we got a new, a new live panel right there. We could change its name, add app, you know, do whatever we want to it, or we can move it up out of there. And the same thing with the stuff that's already up here, you can move them around fully customizable, all right? So this is SPB Shell 3D. That's a must-have if you got the Motorola Photon, all right? Must-have, all right? That's going to officially kill the HTC Sense 3.0 that everybody likes so much, and that's the re main reason for getting the, the Evo 3D. It's over, all right? It's over for the 3D. Now, don't get me wrong. The 3D is still a good phone. You know, like I said, I'm still rocking mine. You know, nothing wrong with it. But if you're going to go head to head, the Motorola Photon is just killing the Evo right now all the way across the table. All right. You heard it from me. That's basically it. What I'm going to do with this video. I'm going to throw up the other um, camera test so you can take a look at that and all that. Shout out to everybody who hit me up on Facebook. Shout out to everybody who rock with me on Foursquare and Twitter and all of that. Shout out to all the ladies who rock with me um, on this YouTube shit. You know, my homegirl Jen and all that. Shout out to everybody that's showing love. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate that. I respect that. And we're just going to keep it moving. Now, also, I got to give one more shout out, too. This is something that, that is kind of cool. You need to see for yourself. Check out this page right here, this YouTube page. It's a little kid. His name is The Technical Reviewer. All right, 12-year-old little kid doing reviews on phones and tech products and all that. And I like this kid. You know, he reminds me of me when I was about that age because, you know, when I was young, if they would have had YouTube and, and the internet and all this fancy shit, that's something I would have been doing too, all right? So shout out to the technical reviewer. You know, that's my little online nephew now. I'm officially adopting him, throwing him on my wing and all that. Shout out to everybody else who hit me up with the comments and all that. We're going to keep it moving to next week. I got the Blackberry Bowl video coming out. What else? Uh... What else? We got so much shit coming out. We got the Galaxies coming out from Verizon. We got the Bionic. You know, it's a lot of shit on deck that we're getting ready to do. But like I said, check the camera test videos for yourself. The Evo 3D is good, but the Photon is the top dog at Sprint right now. You heard it from me. It's your boy Floss. I'll catch y'all on the next trip. Deuces.